I'm so happy that you guys like these drawing videos because it makes me so happy. You guys have asked me in the comments to draw certain particular villagers and I'm here to deliver, okay? How about enough talking? Let's get into the first villager that I'm gonna turn into a Squishmallow. First up we have Mr. Biscuit. I didn't realize he had that shirt. What the? <laughs> He's quite interesting, I'm gonna say. So let's get to work. First, I need to look up <laughs> what a Squishmallow dog looks like. Seems easy enough to do. Let's work on Biscuit's floppy little ears. I've decided that I'm gonna do about five villagers today because I can get through them pretty easily since I am just like simplifying their design down to like a blob, you know? So I think I'm gonna overlap the ear actually over the little Squishmallow just to make it look like it's, you know, flapping over him. All right, so there's one ear. Let's just copy paste. There we go. What else here? What else for Biscuit? Oh, his eyes. Right, right. His eyes are interesting. I think what I'm gonna do is just empty out this and there we go. <laughs> we have Biscuit. Maybe I'll make his eyes a little bit larger. Time to do his dog mouth. And well, there we go. <laughs> We're all done with Biscuit. Just gonna use his headshot to actually pick off the colors because they're the most accurate. By the way, I can always come back to these designs and change them up. If ever you guys think that something doesn't look right, I mean, I don't really mind. Base color is place. I'm now realizing that Biscuit is very, very plain. Poor, poor baby. <laughs> we love him, but in a Squishmallow form, there's something missing. How about we add a little Biscuit for his design? I have no idea if this is gonna look good, not gonna lie. Right in this corner here, he could have like a little Biscuit. Or maybe we just keep it plain Jane and I can move on to other things. Um, -a -num -a -num. You know what, I'm just gonna move on. So, finishing detail time and I will see you when he's all done. And done. Everyone, I would like you to meet Biscuit, the Squishmallow puppy. His design is a little simple, but you know what? I love him nonetheless. Our next cutie patootie that we are drawing into a Squishmallow today is our orange girl, Tangy. Oh, honey, you're so cute. A lot of orange characters today, it seems. All right, well, she's gonna be easy. She's just a cat with a leaf on her head. So let's get into it. Here she is, Miss Girl. I normally start with the ears for some reason. Uh, <laughs> It's just a habit at this point, and I'm not gonna stop either. <laughs> Looking good. Copy and paste the ear to the other side. There we go. I feel like Tangy's also gonna be a simple design other than like the seeds on her body and like the little leaf, which honestly, that's fine. We got more complicated designs coming up. It's okay. <laughs> and you know what? I think I'm gonna add a tail to Tangy too. <laughs> okay, that's looking really cute so far. Leaf moment. Let's see if I can draw a leaf. Well, that was easier than I thought it would be. Thank goodness for that. There we have it, the leaf on the head. Time for the eyeballs. She has some interesting eyes. Hold on, I need references here. What do I do? <laughs> what do I do? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here's what I think I'm gonna do. Copy and paste this, enlarge it a little bit. Kind of make her look like that. Is that too weird? Does that drive off the path of Squishmallow? Is this Uncanny Valley? <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me draw two different example eyes here and let's debate on which one is better. Okay, I know it looks a little crazy. I know, I'm aware. But do I just do like the soulless eyes that Squishmallows have? Or do I do like the, she's looking in the corner kind of thing? Uh, You know what, like I said, I could change the design, so I'm just gonna go with normal, average-looking Squishmilla eye, just because I'm scared. <laughs> I don't want to upset anyone. That's the thing. Stressful. There we have it. And then her mouth is pretty simple. All we gotta do is just stretch the thing, and uh, yeah. Wow. Okay, I think I've decided to move the eyeball. Oh, Augustine's coming. My God, no! <laughs> <sighs> God, that hurt my throat. Oh, there's another one. <sighs> Never mind. False alarm, everybody. <laughs> She's starting to look less and less like a Squishmallow. I'm very in between the eyes right now, and I have no idea what to do. <laughs> oh, I hate making these kind of decisions. I'm changing back to the soulless eyeballs, okay? Feel free to yell at me in the comments down below if you disagree with what I'm doing. The problem is, right, it doesn't need to be this complicated. I could just literally replicate the drawing and then be fine and on my way, right? But no, because I'm a freaking perfectionist, I can't let it go. Okay, we can work with this. Let's move on to colors before I change my mind for the fourth time. As before, we have our lovely picture here for the color picker. Just select everything and with my magical brush, uh, hold on. <laughs> Oops, that's embarrassing. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. And with my magical brush, if I select everything, it should fill in. Wow, she's looking pretty good. Time for the hard part. I have to tediously put a bunch of like the orange speckles on her. So I will see you in just a second. Okay, there we go. Let's Let's move on to the finishing details.
and done. Everyone, I would like you to meet Tangy, the orange cat squishmallow. I think that's what she is anyway, an orange. I made her very shiny because, I don't know, I picture her not being soft at all. I just picture her being a literal orange. <laughs> I made her sparkly and shiny. And now we're gonna move on. Next up is a very interesting character and I have no idea how I'm gonna do this. It's our boy Rattle. Here he is in all his glory. All right, let's do this. I feel like he's gonna be on the more simpler design. I don't know if I said that already, but saying it again. Bada bing, bada boing. He might honestly be the fastest design that I do today, which is a good thing because then I have more time to focus on the other designs because the other ones are a little more complicated than uh, the first previous ones that I had. Okay, his eyes are done. I guess I'll just draw the mask now, which basically takes up his entire face. Okay, I'm finally done drawing the mask. That took longer than I would like. Okay, uh, bringing in the good old colors here and let's get coloring. So I'm gonna make the decision to just draw like a yellow little belly on him. What do we think of that? Is that good? All right, I think it's time for finishing detail time. And voila, our beautiful little man is complete. Everyone, I would like you to meet Rattle, the Squishmallow Frog. Moving on. Next up is our wonderful Miss Girl, Shino. I am very excited to do her design. I think she looks more like the antelope Squishmallow than the actual deer. So we're just gonna, you know, use that as a reference. Starting, of course, with the ears, because I've grown used to that at this point. I also drew the horn and I'm just gonna copy paste. <laughs> Time to draw her little snoot. It is quite tiny circular nose, so I'm just gonna stick to that. Very cute. I think for her mouth, I'm gonna keep it like how it's wide in her actual AC&H picture. Kind of have her smiling, kind of like this. And I want her like little fangies to come out. Something like that. I think I'm gonna just edit the ears a little bit and then we're gonna move on to colors. Doing the base. I think I'm most excited about this design because her red eyeshadow that's like on the corner of her eyes. I think that's so cute. She you know, I will say is a very unique design and I'm very happy that Nintendo decided to add her into the game. Design is like mwah, chef's kiss, you know? Everyone, <laughs> I have to say, Shino is probably one of my favorites so far. How about we move on to our finishing touches and then review our beautiful girl. And done. Everyone, I would like you to meet Shino, the Squishmallow. I think I'm picking favorites or something because I added a little more detail into her than the others, but you know, we're just gonna move on. Last but certainly not least, we have Mr. Pietro. Oh, hold on. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Mr. Pietro, our little clown boy. He's so cute. I'm having this weird hyperfixation on clowns recently, so he's one of my favorite Animal Crossing villagers right now. I would say he's definitely one of the more complicated designs out of like any Animal crossing design. So I'm curious to see how I'm gonna turn this little funky fella, this little funky fella, <laughs> into a squishmallow. Wait, do the sheeps even have ears? Oh, I don't think so. All right, let's get started. So Pietro doesn't have ears, so we're just gonna draw his horns. That's so weird. I never noticed that. What the heck? That's okay. It's fine. Wait, do all sheeps not have ears? I'm so confused. I suck at drawing horns, just a fair warning, so this is what we're sticking with here. It looks beautiful regardless of my efforts, okay? Squishmallow sheep have kind of like a heart around their face. Well, some of them do. Not all of them. But I'm gonna do the heart thing because I think it's cute. He's gonna be a very colorful boy. Looks pretty good. Let's erase the unnecessary lines here. There we go. His smile is a bit wider than the average Squishmallow mouth. Don't want to forget about his little nose. There we go. <laughs> that is so cute. Oh goodness. And I think that's it for line art. Hold on here. I need to double check. Yeah, the rest of him is just mostly colors. All right, well, let's move on to the colors. Oh, that's what his horns look like. Oh, geez. Okay, hold on. I looked closer to this picture to see like <laughs> what was going on with his horns, you know? And they're like looping, like a like a circle, something like that. Uh... All right, yeah, that's a lot better. That looks more like a, a horn. I'm glad I figured that one out. I fixed his little tuft too because it looks more like Pietro now than it did before. <laughs> he still gotta look like Pietro, you know? I'm mostly telling that to myself. <laughs> okay, back to color. I'm just gonna try to do this quickly because my shoulder's starting to hurt a lot. I don't normally draw with a mouse, but for these drawings, I do. Just quite... Uh... Uh, uncomfy, not gonna lie. My fingies are growing so much in strength. They know no bounds.
All right, geez, <laughs> sorry for not talking that entire time. Yeah, I definitely think this is the most complicated design I've ever drawn for a Squishmallow design, okay. Well, now it's time for final touches. <laughs> so I'll see you again in just a bit. And done. Hi, yeah, Nintendo. That is all. Please, can we just have Animal Crossing Squishmallows? If they're not gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take one for the team here. I'm gonna suffer through it and I'm gonna make a Pietro Squishmallow. I don't know when. I'm not brave enough yet, but I'll do it eventually. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite. And also, if you wanna see a particular Animal Crossing villager drawn, just comment them down below. I wouldn't mind. I have a list going on, so it was fun. My shoulder hurts, but you know what? I think that's just my body telling me that this is amazing. <laughs> what a wonderful experience. If it's your birthday today, happy birthday. And if it's not your birthday today, happy day. Thank you again for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.